Leo Skeppy got on here and did the one thing you can't do, which is tell people that their problems are trivial and that there's worse things going on. He made some comments about how a brand not having your size isn't like a personal slight and they're allowed to have the look that they want. And that is, okay, an interesting take from him because all his friends I see, in my head, I would categorize them as left-wingers, right? And that's the majority of his fan base. So for him to get on here and take a very hard stance on such a polarizing topic that the majority of the majority of his fan base would disagree with his take like would have the other opinion and have such a hard take on inclusivity and in like fashion brands i mean because of kind of the woke people for a minute there i didn't think victoria's secrets fashion show would survive to be completely honest and i think that's what he means but he's also like if you watch his podcast from like the week before he's talking about how how people often find authenticity and power in being offended and that people are just too offended and get offended so easily and you know I think that's a kind of juvenile perspective of it like someone who's kind of just started thinking about this concept but in my mind or my perception of it it's people get power in being the victim so they use their victimhood to push the agendas they want and get the results that they want. Like, I knew I had it highlighted in this book. I can't say the name of it on here. Um, blank adherents and would-be followers are encouraged to view themselves in the groups that which they identify as the oppressed, that is, the victims, and their oppressors are found in the existing society, culture, and economic system from which the oppressed must be must liberate themselves and their fellow travelers, meaning those victims who identify or are also in the same group. This is a primary reasoning of blank, can't say that word on here, stresses classism over individualism. That's what he's trying, like the concept he's trying to explain in his podcast video from a week ago. And it's like his audience is not happy about him realizing this and saying something about it. Like he is definitely going to ruffle some feathers saying this. He's going to lose a lot of his woke fans but honestly i'm glad the tide's shifting like not everything's for me but that's just my take on it and people aren't gonna like that either